Millstone Gibbet Post was erected in 1801, just a quarter of a mile from the place where John Massey murdered his wife and attempted to murder her 10 year old daughter. A well known man in his local area, he was a wrestler and said to be a heavy drinking, short tempered man. During his fights, it was common practice for him to throw his opponents over his head giving himself the nickname Topsy Turvy. After drinking at the Curzon Arms in Twycross, he returned home and a violent row with his wife escalated into her death. Massey was arrested, charged with murder, and the daughter's evidence helped convict him, and he was hung for his crimes. He was later brought to the gibbet post where his body remained, chained up for 18 years. By the time it was removed, only a partial skeleton was said to remain. What is up guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. Tonight we have come to the Billstone Gibbet Post. Just behind me there, you might be able to see it, a body was chained up to this post and left for 18 years. We've come here tonight, we're going to do a paranormal investigation here. Let's drop a like down below, subscribe and let's get straight into this video. Did you hear them footsteps? There's footsteps on the... Was there? Yeah. I'm sure there was, like... Yeah. Yeah, literally either. But quiet. I guess I didn't hear nothing loud. Yeah, it was like the first one I done. Are you around us, John? Or maybe it's his wife around us. What's the wife's name? Is it uh, Lydia? Uh, doesn't give a surname, does it? Well, if it's why, why? So it will be the same surname, wouldn't it? Lydia Massey. Yeah. Do we have a Lydia Massey around? The ball's just gone off. Okay, so is this Lydia that we're talking to? Maybe we've got it all wrong and John's not here at all. We're here to make communication with you. And if that is you touching the ball, we're very, very grateful for that. Feel free to keep doing it. That's great what you're doing. Maybe go and touch the other one, which is on the other side, right in front of me here. It's exactly the same thing. Just touch that ball, manipulate it and it'll light up. Or maybe you can touch the device in front of their past. Yeah, if you could touch that little black box that's in front of the post on the floor, I'd be extremely grateful. See the nail there, look. That's is crazy, that, isn't it? Is that the nail that you were hung on? It says on there that there was like a hook, like a, a metal hook, and then he was wrapped in chains and basically held there. So he was, was he actually, yeah, he was hung on he? So he was hung up by chains. How long do you reckon he stayed there for before? The thing is, it's kind of taking away your dignity. That's what I'm saying, yeah, is it, it's a bit inhumane and it's also a bit of like a dignity thing as well. Like I'm not condoning crimes, but to hang somebody up on a public display, I, I'd like to know how long he was there for, still alive. I reckon up to a week and he, he would have passed away. If you look at how they hung him, if that's the way they hung him, he wasn't actually hung by his neck. Yeah, he yeah. Him. He was there too. Yeah, but I'm talking about dying of starvation and things. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm exactly thinking. That's how he would be killed, isn't it? It's... It's a bit crazy, really, like what's happened. It's, it's crazy. I do think it's... Inhuman. Inhuman, yeah. Inhumane. Would you agree with us, John? Do you think he deserved what happened? If you were here a minute ago, feel free to come back. We'd really, really appreciate it and we want to talk to you. Come back to us, please. Can you maybe touch the little black box in front of me that's on this sign here, just to confirm that's you? That's the box gone off. Yeah, I saw the K2 go. We're coming here respectfully. We just want to talk to you. We just want communication with you. We need to confirm that it's you that we're speaking to, and then we can talk. 
I, maybe it's a daughter that's very angry what happened. Is there a daughter's name? Just says 10 year old no, daughter. Saying the daughter. Well, there's another wife as well, Sarah. So we've got two names on here, both wives of John Massey, Sarah and Lydia. Either of those two people here, please let yourself be known. Or is it you, John? Are you just playing with us? Did you hear that? That sounds like someone stood on a stake. Is that you walking around, though? I wanted to say it sounded like a a rock, but not like being thrown at us directly. Just it sounded like something being dropped or like a could be a like a shoe not a trainer i'm wearing converse it was like a any spirits would you like to come forward and communicate we stepped away from the past can you touch one of the devices Did you hear the footsteps behind there? I heard something over there. It was like in there. Yeah, it came from train. <laughs> to me, it was just like that guy. Yeah. But that's what I heard earlier on. But over there. It's weird. Are you able to make one of the devices to flash up? You put them in just to support it, haven't you? Yeah. Because I think where it's starting to fall down here, we have actually screwed a bolt through there. Oh yeah. So I think they've put the vault in just to hold that piece of wood onto the rest of the wood. Yeah. I mean it's... And the, the bowl. Again. Over 200 year old piece of oak isn't going to last forever. The ball again. Maybe touch the ball if you can see us. Maybe not, not much happened here and they don't know yet how to communicate. Please go and touch the box, the black box next to the ball. Just touch it like that. It doesn't hurt you. It won't hurt you, I promise. Walking. Yeah. Sounded like down there this time. I was having to think whatever it's here doesn't know, doesn't go. Please, I'm here with you. Use my energy. Touch that ball. This is you, Lydia. Lydia Massey, however you want to be called. Miss Massey, Mrs. Massey. Oh, you don't want to have anything to do with the surname? Maybe you don't want to have anything to do with the surname. I can refer to you as just Lydia, if you like. Or is John here and he's playing with us? We're coming respectfully. And we're just politely asking you to communicate back to us. Okay, we're just gonna try the necrophonic app, guys. I do have the, um, I've got the spray box in the car, but I can't be bothered to get it out. It's really cold. Yeah, it is loud, but I'll be honest with you, it's freezing cold tonight. It was quite mild earlier, but it's freezing cold now. And we are in November, so very foggy out. I'm very cold. Could you tell us your name, please? <coughs> Have we got John here with us? <coughs> Have we got Lydia with us? <coughs> that was like a long year. And they say something, I'm gonna say something. I'm gonna reel off a few names, okay? Do we have a uh, John Massey here with us? Come and talk through this device, John. What's that call? Here it is.
Where's that sound coming? Also from the floor behind. You just said be careful. Yeah, it sounds like there's a car coming, but there's no lights. So be careful, yeah. Be careful of what, John? Was that you, John? Be careful of what? Do we have to be careful of you? Can I speak to the ghost of Topsy Turby, please? Is that you, Tops? Is he careful? Yeah. Do you like being called Tops? Have you got the lady here? Yeah, straight away here. Yeah. Okay, too. Lydia, if that's she Hulk. Yeah, K2 again. Are you upset for what happened? Lydia? That's me. Are you upset with what happened? It says here you died several weeks later. So I just want to know, did you regain consciousness after what happened to you? It says that your daughter did. And she gave evidence against John. You said mom. Okay. What was your daughter's name, if you don't mind me asking? Is your daughter's name Marie? Uh, no. Do you remember your daughter's name? Is John here as well? Keep hearing that little girl's voice, you know. Mm. Are you scared of John? Yes. Don't need to be scared of John. What can he do to you? Do you realise that you've both passed away now? Yeah. He's, he's gone now. He can't hurt you anymore. I'm not talking to you, John. You can step aside. I'm talking to Lydia. The little girl's here as well. You want to try and tell me your name? I'm going to have to listen back to these responses, guys, but I am almost certain that I keep hearing Marie. Oh, it's Sylvia with the torch in her hand. <laughs> I keep seeing flashes down there, and I was like, what's that? And then I realised it's you with the torch. Did you hear that? Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. I think there's a car going behind us. It's, uh, yeah. Over speed bump? Over... That's what I thought, yeah. But it didn't sound like a car getting past. It sounded like a... Dum -dum, like something... Or something touched the car, maybe. Could it have been like something touching the car? Again? You know what? It could have been, basically, signs of going like that in the car. Yeah, that's what I thought, like, but touching the car. In a night. I was looking at it this morning because I'm thinking, why the hell is that done? Car's filthy, isn't it? <laughs> Look at that. I'm going to freak Sylvia out. <gasps> Sylvia, quick. Look at this. 
No, look at this. Was that there earlier? What the f I'm joking, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I wasn't expecting you to react like that. <laughs> John Massey's wrote his initials on the car. <laughs> you give up. I'm not talking to you. I tried to talk to you earlier and you weren't interested. You don't scare me. You warning? Are you warning? Just said leave, said I'm warning. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go now, John. I'm gonna go, Lydia. Bye, Lydia. I've just heard the sound of chains. I kid you not. I hope the camera picked that up. So you can't even hear me. I kid you not, guys. I hope the camera picked that up. I have just heard from that direction. I'm not saying it was here on the post. I'm saying it was from this direction. The sound of chains clanking together. Was that your chains I heard, John? <laughs> okay guys, so we are gonna end this video here. I swear to God, a moment ago, I heard the sound of chains clanking together. I hope the camera picked that up. But we are going to end this video here, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, drop a like down below, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.